Hey, hey, you know what time it is? It's two days out, motherfucker. Ain't nothing to do but to do it. Alright guys. Two days out. <laughs> We've got a good day planned today. As I said yesterday I'm getting my tan and my wax today. So I should look somewhat like what I'm gonna look like on um on Saturday by the end of today but first of all I just wanted to address yesterday the practice carve up um, I went a little bit overboard I probably had about 350 grams of carbs fats was kept pretty low it was about 60 that's probably the lowest day um, of fats that I've had in ages because I specifically tried to go low fat so protein was about the same but basically um I meant to report back to the coach this morning uh, with what I felt and stuff. So basically what I'm going to tell him is I didn't feel fuck all different <laughs> throughout the day. Uh, you know, I was looking at my arms, looking at my muscles and stuff. They weren't really feeling too much different. So the only time it did feel different is when I went to the gym. Um, like I was doing delts, but my biceps had fucking huge veins coming out of it, like cross veins and stuff. Uh, the striations coming out, but that's just that's just being lean. I don't think that was to do with carbs, to be honest with you. Uh, that, and then this morning I woke up and I actually feel a little bit fuller. So if anything, um, I was I was meant to go back to my coach and tell him whether I looked better on the day before the refeed or after the refeed. And taking everything into account, I think I looked better after the refeed. So it looks like I'll be doing something similar probably tomorrow being one day out um, and then on the morning of the show I don't know yet so I'm just gonna do what he tells me that's what I paid him for um, so the guilt factor is there as, as much as I wanted it to not be um, so basically I'm off to the gym do cardio this morning if I want to do weights after I will but I haven't eaten anything just got my aminos and uh yeah as i ate more yesterday i'm and i fucking went home without doing cardio because i just couldn't be fucked as you guys saw uh i am not gonna go home until i've hit 10,000 steps on my fitbit so that is a little challenge for me this morning and um it's been on whether i run or walk it might take an hour it might take a little bit more but i don't give a fuck Look at this weather, man. Hope these cars haven't been too loud um, coming beside me, but you guys have kept me company on the way to the gym. It's been going for three minutes, and here we are. So, cardio, YouTube, music, 10,000 steps. I'll see you back at home. Alright guys, we're nearly home, you can hardly <laughs> see anything, people must think I'm crazy walking around in a sleeveless hoodie this morning, but it's alright, so <clears throat> I've done about 7,500 steps, most of the cardio at the gym was incline, so really I have done the equivalent of at least 10,000, but set myself a challenge and I'm not into uh, quitting so I'm just gonna walk straight past my house keep walking until I get 10,000 steps and then um, be going home have some breakfast
been looking forward to this moment. And before we go, let me just check what I have to do. Because you guys are coming along for the ride. All right, so yeah, two days out. It's Thursday today. I leave tomorrow. So I'd better get everything I need done today. And they are buying some shorts. I gotta do that this morning. I got to get my wax this afternoon. I gotta get my tan tonight. I've got to do some posing practice tonight. And I've got to get some pump up equipment because there's, the last thing I wanna do is arrive to Wellington backstage with no weights or no bands or nothing to pump up with. Because that would be an absolute disaster and I can just imagine it now, fucking everyone running around trying to use everyone's weights and passing them around and no one wants to share. I mean, I wouldn't want to share, fuck that. So, <laughs> there's actually there's actually a band, like a, a weights band that you can do bicep curls and shoulder raises and shit at the gym, which no one uses and I'm going to try it out tonight when I do my practice pump, pump up and uh, We'll see how we go. I think I might just uh, put it in my pocket and borrow it for the weekend. So if you're looking, if you're uh, watching this and you're from Anytime Fitness Shirley, well, sorry mate, but it's going for a good cause. <laughs> first things first, I'm going to go to the mall and I'm going to go and have a look at some board shorts and probably buy my first pair that I've ever bought in about 10 years because I hate the things. <laughs> Last time I bloody used board shorts would have to be at a swimming swimming freaking carnival or something something from school because I think they look ridiculous and I hate the fabric but you got to do what you got to do so colors that is what I am trying to decide at the moment I really don't know and I can't ask you guys for tips because this video is going to be coming out a week after I competed so Whatever I do find, I'll show you. But I'm um, racking my brain as to what colour I should get. Don't know. Because my skin is obviously going to be a lot darker. I'm sure I'll find something. I'll see you there. Right now, I'm actually, before I go and get my shorts, I've got a couple of um, necklaces to pick up, which I ordered from a guy at the gym, the guy that I trained chest with the other day. Um, he makes. Uh, gym related jewellery but it's actually sterling silver it's proper stuff it's nice and heavy um, and it's actually worth a bit of money so it's not just your cheap knockoffs and so I decided last week to grab two and he's finally got them in luckily because I'm leaving tomorrow um, so I'm gonna whip round to Anytime Fitness now and um, see what he's got for me and once I get them I'll show you what they look like alright guys so as you can see, this is one of the necklaces I got, which I love. I think it's sick. <laughs> Don't know about you guys, but um, this is the other one. So it's a weight plate. Unfortunately, he he um, he couldn't put the like 45 pound sign on there. It's just way, way, way too intricate and too much work. Um, so that is what the weight plate looks like. It's got the the four quadrants on the front and just plain on the back but um, once again I think that's absolutely sick and I will be wearing it from now on I did have someone who I was gonna give uh, one of the necklaces to as a gift but they're shit they're not being very nice right now so no gift for you Right, but anyways, we got that. Now, next task is getting some shorts. And I still don't know what color, so let's go. I've just spent like 10 minutes trying to find a freaking park. I tell you what, this is something I will never, ever miss is traffic. And that is one reason why I like Alice Springs because there is no traffic and you don't wait for a park. It's brilliant. Alright, now this is just absolutely ridiculous. 
This is one of those times when my temper is being tested. Not even joking. Road rage could happen right now. Alright, we got one, we got one. It's alright. It's all under control. Don't worry, don't worry. Haircut is booked for 20 minutes and right now I'm going to go and attempt to find some shorts because I know I'm not going to wear them again and I only need plain ones so I'm hoping that I don't have to spend your classic 80 bucks or 100 bucks on a fucking pair of board shorts. Let's see. Gay, 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 and gay. <laughs> so I think I may have actually found a winner. What do you reckon? Something different. I wanted to go with black. Got black and blue. 20 bucks. Fuck it, that's it. <laughs> 